Hi guys, in today's video we are going to talk about how to get started with verbal interview and the do's and don'ts that you must keep in mind. Firstly, you will receive an email from verbal at the .com at your mail address with the subject verbal interview process link similar to the one you can see on the screen. You will receive this mail once you are shortlisted for the role you have applied for. Secondly, you must select the click here option in blue on the right of the interview link row. Furthermore, before clicking the link, you must check the validity and expiry of the link. You can check the time zone based time and date for which the link turned active in the valid from row. While you can check the time zone based time and date from which the link will turn inactive in the valid till row. For example, as you can see in the valid from row, you will find that the link turned active at 11 in the morning on the 2nd of August as per Kolkata's time zone. While in the valid till box, you will find that the link will be valid till 7 in the evening of the 3rd of August as per Kolkata's time zone. Once you try to select the click here option after the date and time in the valid till box, it will direct you to a page containing a timeout message. Moreover, you must also check for further instructions from the employer at the bottom of the mail as you can see right here. Now on selecting the click here option in blue, you will be directed to a page like this. As you can see, you will find some basic instructions regarding the verbal interview on the left. The instructions being, you must positively ensure that you give the interview from a desktop or a laptop with a proper web camera, that you have a stable internet connection during the entire interview process, that the microphone of your headphones are in good working condition and that your computer delivers a clear audio quality. On the right, you will find a form with spaces for your full name, email address, phone number and resume. The system autofills your name, email address and phone number according to the application that you have submitted before. Thirdly, you need to upload your resume in a PDF format manually. Fourthly, click on the login button in green to proceed. On selecting the login option, you will be directed to a screen similar to this with a holistic overview of the basic instructions for the interview. On the top right corner, you will find a map indicating that there are three pages of instructions that you need to go through properly before clicking on the next option right beside the map. On the first page, on the first instructions page, you will find the following instruction. Make sure you appear for the interview from a laptop or desktop computer. Do not refresh the page once the video interview starts, otherwise your progress will be lost. And enter all the details correctly since you won't get any other chance of remodification in the future. Furthermore, the basic instructions page will also give you an overview of the questions that you can expect in the interview. For example, you will find three sections. In the verbal section, you will find one to ten questions. For each verbal question, you will have a ten second reading time after which the timer for the answer will begin. In the MCQ section, you will find one to ten questions for which you need to select the correct answer. In the coding section, you will find 1 to 10 coding questions which you need to answer in the given or preferred programming language. Once you complete reading the instructions on the first page, click on the next button in green on the top right corner of the page to move to the second instructions page. On the second instructions page, you will be asked to choose a quiet place free of distractions for your interview to ensure a stable internet connection and to make sure that the audio quality of your laptop or desktop is good. Once you complete reading the instruction on the second page, click on the next button in green again on the top right corner of the page to move to the third instructions page. 
on the third instructions page you will be asked to keep your web camera on during the entire interview to position your camera in a manner which will provide you with good lighting and a neutral background free from distractions to ensure the microphone of your headphones are in proper working condition and to make sure you close all other tabs on your browser and applications on your computer before starting off with the interview. Once you complete reading the instructions on the third page, click on the go to preview button in green on the top right corner of the page to move to the next page. This will redirect you to a page that looks like this. At the bottom left of the screen, you can see the things approved by Birbal in green and the things disapproved by Birbal in red. Here Birbal is seeking permission to use the camera on my desktop. Furthermore, you must click on the allow option. Next, it is seeking permission to use the microphone. Once you click on the allow button, a tab will pop up where you will be asked to speak your name. Once you do so, this system checks your audio quality and makes sure it is perfect. Make sure you do not click on the continue anyway option at the bottom of the tab. Next, another tab pops up with the text, please click on the button to provide access to the screen on the left and a screen access button on the right. Here you need to click on the button on your right. Once you click, another tab from the browser will pop up seeking permission to use your screen. Here, click on the select window or screen box and then select the entire screen option. Now, on the right side of the screen, you will see a text, please turn on the video and mic before starting the interview. Underneath this, you will find a start interview button in green which you need to select in order to start off with your interview. So that was an overview of how to get started with the Birbal interview and the most important do's and don'ts that you need to keep in mind. If you have further questions, contact smitha at the rate